hi 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 guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be making the famous nigerian geese dodo for you all okay so this is what my family will be eating today we're going to be having this with rice have you cooked lunch for your family today have you made dinner what are you guys having so in today's video i'll just be showing you guys quickly how i make my very famous nigerian geese dodo okay geese dodo is made with gizzard and fried plantain aka dodo okay so in my pot now i already washed put my washed and clean gizzard and i've seasoned it with salt pepper curry turmeric ginger and garlic blend onion and no seasoning i also add a little bit of mixed spice and i cover it i cook it with no water okay so i didn't put water in the pot but when I finish cooking, you're going to realize how much stock I get from the meat, okay? So, yeah, so that's my gizzard cooking. While you are watching, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? While we're waiting for this gizzard to get cooked, can you please hit the subscribe button? Have you done that already? You have. Thank you. So, you can see my gizzard is cooking. At this point, it is well cooked. Like, it is well seasoned and cooked i added a little bit of salt and thyme and i also cooked and cooked until it was well soft okay so in my pan i put some canola oil i already chopped my plantain so there i am frying it i'm sure if you're nigerian if you're african and in fact most people already know how to make dodo okay yeah so i'm just here showing you guys again how I fry my plantain, it was peeled, it was washed, peeled and cut in the size and shape that I wanted it. So you can make it in whatever shape or size that you like. And I like my plantain to be extra brown, okay? Yes, so that's me still frying plantain. While we are frying this plantain together, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Have you? I think you have. Thank you for subscribing, okay? Yes, so this is just the second portion of the plantain that I'm frying. I'm going to just fry this and get it out of the pan and then we can start making our geese dodo. There you go. So I'm using the same oil, yes, to fry my gizzard. So I'm going to show you guys two methods of eating this thing, okay? So some of the gizzard I fried and some of them I didn't fry, okay? So I'm going to make fried gizzard and fried plantain geese dodo and i'm also going to make those cooked gizzard and fried plantain how do you like your gizzard do you like to fry your gizzard or do you just boil your gizzard and make your gizzard dough? well however you like it i make it either way okay i enjoy both the fried gizzard and the parboiled gizzard geese dodo okay so here i am done frying my gizzard yes i'm done i'm going to use the same oil that I used to fry the gizzard and the plantain to make the gizzard just to, just to maintain or keep the flavor in the food okay very easy there's my diced onion or my sliced onion I just pour it in my hot oil I added a little bit of salt because my gizzard was very well seasoned and I, I added some chopped bell pepper yellow green and red just enough to add color and make it look pleasing to the eyes so what i do is i add a little bit of no cube or cooking cube or whatever cube you have just to season it some more and then i take out the vegetables because i don't want to cook it all the way with the gizzard and dodo because i want to have a little bit of crunchy veggies when i eat my gizzard okay yeah so i went ahead and i added a little bit more tomato diced tomato and and some more diced red bell pepper okay so i just fry that and when it's well done you can always tell when your sauce stew whatever you're cooking is done when you see the oil separate from the tomato okay i went ahead and added a little bit of my stew base i always have stew base in my fridge and i also added a little bit of my cooked habanero pepper yes I also always have a banana pepper cooked and saved in my refrigerator, okay? So you can tell from that now that my sauce is ready. I went ahead and just cooked some sauce out because that would be too much for what I'm going to, for the quantity of gizzard and plantain I want to cook, okay? 
So there I added my fried dessert to the sauce in the pan. I also went ahead and added my fried plantain. And I just cook and stay it and let it cook for a little bit. Everything is already well cooked. So I'm just basically just mixing it in well. And then I went ahead and added some of those fresh veggies that I put on the side back into the gears of the soul. Like I said, we need a little bit of crunchiness with our veggies, okay? Mm. This tasted so good. It was so good. Everybody in my house enjoyed it with white rice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the second way I make the gizzard. So now I'm using the gizzard that is not fried, just boiled gizzard. I'm adding, I'm adding it to my stew base. At this point, I forgot that I had extra tomato sauce saved on the side. So I went ahead and got stew from the fridge. But anyways, I still added it at the end of the day. I've also added my plantain. Like I said, everything is already cooked. I'm just mixing it up. I've added my fresh veggies that i saved on the side and i also added a little bit of the leftover tomato sauce that i had scooped out earlier because like i said i forgot i had saved some when i started okay so here is the yummy cooked yeast dough okay we enjoyed both i think my children enjoyed this one because the fried dessert was a little bit tough for them to eat so this was the one that they really enjoyed. So here is my well-seasoned, tasty gizdo that my family and I are enjoying today. Have you had lunch yet? Have you cooked for your family? Have you subscribed to my channel? Well, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, okay? Like my video, share, leave a comment. I mean, leave a comment, like my video, share, and please subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Have you had lunch yet? Go and have lunch. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.